Guidelines for the Monitoring Officers 1. The Monitoring Officer on Allocation of Projects by Projects Wing will get hold of a copy of the PC1 of the project along with relevant decisions of CDWP slash ECNIC. The Monitoring Officer will study the project, prepare the project profile and share with the Projects Wing by September 9, 2006. The Projects Wing and the Concerned Technical Section will provide necessary assistance to Monitoring Officer. 2. The Concerned Director General in the Projects Wing will provide a copy of cash-slash-work plan to the Monitoring Officer by second week of September 2006. 3. The Monitoring Officer will fill the monitoring pro forma from the information contained in cash-slash-work plan and share it with the Projects Wing. 4. During the second week of September 2006 the Director Generals of the Projects Wing will convene meetings of the Monitoring Officers. The participation in the meetings is mandatory. The monitoring officers will be briefed about monitoring mechanism and strategy to monitor the projects. The list of ministries slash divisions slash agencies assigned to D.GS is enclosed. 5. The monitoring officer will develop a liaison with the project director and furnish the requisite information on PC3, B. The first report covering July-September 2006 will be provided by October 5, 2006. Subsequently, the information will be provided by fifth day of each month till July 5, 2007. 6. Each column of the project profile, monitoring report, and the PC3, B, pro forma must be filled in in MS Excel. The blank performee can be downloaded from the website of the Planning Commission i.ewww.mopd.gov.pk. In the folder containing blank performee for monitoring, it is reiterated that no column should be left blank and ensure a CO relation between physical and financial achievements. 7. The project profiles and monitoring reports are also required to be placed on the internal and external website of the PND division. The monitoring officers should. Therefore, send the disk slash CD containing updated project profile and monitoring report to Mr. Muhammad Alim Khan, Deputy Director, Coord, Projects Wing, phone number 9201636. The procedure of electronic sharing the information with the Projects Wing is annexed. 8. If at any stage the monitoring officer face difficulties in receiving the requisite information from the project authorities, he shall inform Mr. Gulam Akbar Malik, Director Projects Wing for Intervention and invariably state precisely the matter for which the help is sought. 9. If the monitoring officer feels that the project authorities had not cooperated during the monitoring exercise, he should bring forth this information to the Projects Wing and also in the review meetings, where the senior management of the concerned ministry slash division are also present. Anak Zur. Procedure for Electronic Sharing of Information with the Projects Wing The project profile, monitoring reports etc. can also be transmitted to the Projects Wing by sharing the files. The steps for sending the folders to the Projects Wing are as under. Step 1, create a new folder separate for each project with a short title indicating the project name. Place files of project profile and monitoring reports in this new folder. Step 2, Copy this folder in the already created folder of the respective monitoring officer in backslash backslash ch3 alim backslash reports underscore 2006-07 which can be accessed by adopting following instruction. Press start key at the desktop then edit, with forward slashes, backslash backslash ch3 aleem then press ok and then select the folder reports underscore 2006-0. Here folders of all monitoring officers are available in the alphabetical order. 2. If the folder is supplied through above process then telephonic confirmation must be sought from Mr. Muhammad Alim Khan, Deputy Director Projects Wing, phone number 9201636, whether the folder has been properly shared and retrieved in the Projects Wing. Instructions to fill in PC3, B, Pro Forma. 1. Name of the project. Indicate name of the project. 2. Financial status. Indicate PSDP allocations for the current year and quarter. According to latest instructions of Ministry of Finance, AGPR has been directed to release PSDP allocations in the first week of each quarter. 
However in practice, variations in releases are expected. The executing agency may therefore provide released amount during the month under report. Provide actual expenditure incurred on the project during the month under report. 3. Physical status. Provide actual physical achievements during the month against targets for the quarter. 4. Output indicators. Provide the output of the project during the month under report against the output targets. 5. Issues slash bottlenecks. Indicate the major issues responsible for delay in implementation of project at policy and operational level. The PC3, B, be furnished by fifth day of each month reflecting the progress of the project during the last reporting month. 1.